Parker Byron gives it to Fafita for the three, and that one falls short. Rebound by number two, Jackson Gordon. Gordon pushes the fast break. He's guarded by Agnew. Pulls it back out and gives it to Murdoch to reset the play. Law, guarded by Barton, gives it to Murdoch. He drives, puts up the 15-footer, and that shot goes. Looks like he paused for a second, deciding whether to pass it, but decided that the shot was the best option. Skyx lead 18 to 15 with six minutes and a half. Agnew working on Murdoch. Barton drives baseline, tries to get the ball to Johnson, but that ball rolls out of bounds. It'll stay Skyhawk basketball. Our point guard, number four, Blake Agnew. Um, he grew up in Australia. He came here just to play basketball this year after his sister was, in the foreign, was a foreign exchange student and was a very good basketball player and now plays up at Utah Valley University. So we benefited from that to get our little brother, Blake Agnew. John Augustin inbounds. To Dosser, who gets it into Johnson. Johnson goes up strong, oh. and that one rolls out. Sure got robbed there. Yep. And Murdoch goes through some traffic, tries to put up the floater, but it falls short, and goes out of bounds. It'll be Skyhawk basketball. We're going to be watching Eric Johnson close tonight, because last week in the, in the first half, in the second half of the Maple Mountain game, he had 11 points carrying the game for the Skyhawks. It sadly fell short of the win. Skyhawks hoping to bounce back from their loss at Maple Mountain and beat Wasatch tonight. Agnew working on Murdoch. Spin move, floater, and that bounces off the back of the iron for Agnew. Great move anyway. And Murdoch brings it down. He gets it over to number two. Jackson Gordon, but that, that goes no good. Rebound, Wasatch. Murdoch. Gordon drives in. Tries to make the hard layup. But that's off Skyhawks and it'll remain Wasatch basketball. With five minutes left in the half, Skyhawks lead by three, 18 to 15. 